Prophetic Weekly. How are you doing today? Man, y'all are a good looking group of people. I tell you what, I'm really excited about today. I am going to let you know right up front, I'm in a really, really good mood today. So if I just start laughing or getting off subject, just bear with me for a second. Oh man, that coffee's good, that coffee's good. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into this. I got, I got some words today that I've been reading that's got my spirit extremely excited. Please listen to me. Do not miss, do not miss, do not miss what God is doing right now. Don't miss what God's doing because of a carnal mindset stuck in the old wine skin. Please be about the kingdom of God right now. It is an exciting time. So I'm, I'm gonna let you know it is so hard for some people to break the ideology of what they have in their mind of the way things are supposed to look. Man, I see so many people that I'm looking at them. I say, I, I, you just don't get it. You, you just don't. And I've had ministers in their 60s and 70s that say, Joe, I just don't, I can't grasp what he's doing. I'm trying. And honestly, do any of us really understand? I mean, his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Just keep pressing in. Now, let's get into this. First word I, I briefly want to touch is by Nate Johnson. Nate Johnson was talked about 2023 is, is going to be a place where God really reveals hot spots of his glory. That word meant a lot to me because one of my heroes in the faith called me last week and said, Joe, the Roar Kingdom Center, Roar Church, Texarkana is going to be a glory hub, and the world will know about it within a year. It's going to hit you so strong. And so I want to encourage you, be connected to some, some spots. They're, they're happening all over America. Find a good one. Find one that has an apostolic, prophetic alignment, just powerful hubs, churches. Um, and if there's not one in your area, you know, Go to one periodically. You know, we're about to start up a whole lot of events at Roar. We're, we're going to, we do a lot of Friday night fires. We do Roar weekend. A Roar weekend is when you have like a um, Saturday night, Sunday morning, kind of a combo weekend. So people travel in from all over America. There, there, there's a lot of different ones out there. You know, my, my dear friend, Apostle Ryan Strange in Atlanta, Georgia's man, what he's doing up there is this really good. There's just a lot of great places all over the globe that people are going after it. So that's kind of all I'm going to share on Nate's word. Um, you know, it's all over social media. You can look at that. But I want to really let you know that just even the title of it really got me. And in, in, uh, in this, he had like a, just a prophetic vision that the Lord gave him that it was going to be a year that God highlights these places for people to go to. Um, my apostle, Apostle Kim Malone in Satellite Beach, Florida, you know, it's right outside of um, Orlando, about an hour. You know, they do a lot of stuff up there, and he brings in a lot of apostles and prophets and has events. And so there's just a lot of great places for you to go and really connect, and God's pouring out his spirit. Next word that I want to read is by Tracy Cook. He said, it's the year of acceleration and the year of full fulfillment. Stop right there. What did Rodney Howard Brown say? That 2023 was going to be the year that we see more personal prophetic prophecies come to pass than ever before. Tracy Cook said the same thing. God is going to cause the remnant to rise up and force the world to look at what God is doing. Come on now. And there's a well, he's, he keeps saying this, there's a wealth transfer. There's a wealth transfer. And I'm telling you, you better lean into God on that wealth transfer. The other day, I just had an idea, just an idea God gave me. I moved on it and I saw stuff moving. And I, I was like, man, if things keep moving in this direction for a long period of time, there's a transfer. And so, watch what the Lord, I've got friends call me and say, man, I just, 
I have an idea about the wealth transfer. God told me to do this. God told me to do that. Everybody's doing different things, getting in different businesses, buying different stocks, buying different properties. Um, just a lot of different things going on, okay? Pay attention to God in this season. Next thing he says um, that this is a, a wealth transfer and, and it's going to be a year that God's going to do things for you. Uh, he says, God's giving everything back double. And so what the enemy stole from you over the last few years, he's given back double. You know, over the past, I'm going to say two years, you know, even at, at Roar Church, there's been some things uh, stolen. I felt by the, you know, as the enemy came in, I'm getting back double. I'm getting back double. There's been some things stolen from my wife and I. We're getting back double. Some of you, you've had your joy stolen. You're going to get back double. Some of you had some financial things happen. You're going to get back double. I might drink double the coffee, Nick. Yes, sir. All right, let's keep going. Keep going. All right. Let's go to the next one. Apostle Prophet Charlie Champ. I am coming with my scales of justice and the sword of truth. God is the rightful judge. The weight and the balance is in the hands of the Lord. Lift your eyes and see the victory is yours, says the Lord. I, I, I got to go back. Back up, Joe. Back up. Okay. Okay. The Lord is coming with scales and justice. Where you've been done wrong, God is going to make it right. This word did not say you were supposed to make it right. God's going to make it right. You don't worry about it. Recently, my, <laughs> my wife and I, you know, we have ministry in church, you know, different things, business people come against you. Somebody asked me, are you going to deal with this thing that, you know, I got a little bit in ministry, a little bit in business, people coming against you. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. The Lord said, let him handle it. <laughs> when people come against you, you don't have to go back. You just kind of smile. Okay. Whenever someone comes against me in any way, I know God's got my back. I can feel it. Um, some people, they'll do you dirty and then fake apologize. And I just look and smile and go, okay. And going about my business. God's on the scene. You do not have to fight. Let me tell you how things work. People come against you and you get all worked up and try to go back at them. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You're just as guilty as they are. What'd you say? You're just as guilty as they are. You, okay. And just smile, look at them. They're going to have to pay Skills, weight and balance, justice is coming. But if you don't open your mouth and you don't react back, you don't have to pay nothing. You just receive. Wait, what did Tracy Cook say? Oh, it's the year of the double. See, let me tell you how things work. I'm going to save you a lot of pain. Don't ever talk about an apostle or prophet. Don't ever come against them. Most people come against them when Jezebel is attached. So if it's this year of double, when someone comes against you, you receive what they get, what they have. Jehoshaphat in the Bible, three armies came against them. When they came against Jehoshaphat, he collected all they had after they killed themselves. You Be smart. Be smart. The wealth transfer happened when people came against them. Come on now. Whoop! Next word by Cindy Jacobs, 2023. This is the season to recover all finances, property, relationships. Wait a minute, wait. Is this what we've been talking about the whole time already? This is your year. So don't be in a wrong mindset or get yourself right. Doug Addison said, watch for the Lord to give you unlimited amounts of peace, healing, and abundant blessing. Abundant blessing Kind of sounds like double. Now, Jerry Savelle, he said, I ain't got time for no 30, 60 fold. I got to get that 100. 
Problem with some people, they're happy with, with, with the double portion, a triple portion. The Bible does says 30, 60, 100 fold. You got to get your mind thinking about how big your God is. Next word, DeMonte Edmonds. I like that guy. He says, when people are writhing in influence for God, often the enemy tries to release the spirit of slander and false accusations. We bind both and send the torment of God's fire upon them and these dark forces to release the spirit of truth. I literally just spoke on this a few days ago. It was the spirit of slander and accusations coming against God's people. But if we stand King Jehoshaphat, the Amorites, the Moabites, and the people of Mount Seir will fight one another, and then you will go get all their treasures. When people come against you, they don't even know they, they are bringing their treasures to your feet. The Lord told me the first 90 days of 2023 is going to be a shaking. Then after that, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. It, it's coming. Powerful words right there today. When God is rising people in influence for God, slander and attacks always come. You know why that is? The spirit of jealousy. You can listen when somebody that does the exact thing you're doing wins, clap, shout for them. You're next. You're next. <laughs> we got to learn to celebrate it. Listen, there's no competition in the kingdom. No competition in the kingdom. I want everybody to win. Okay. All these prophetic words were about standing in the midst of attack and God's got a blessing upon you that you cannot even receive. Be in that right place at that right time. Be positioned. In the midst of adversity, you stand before God Almighty and he's gonna protect you, he's gonna cover you and you're gonna be okay. You're not going to worry about nothing God's got your back. You hear me? Ooh. I, I'm excited about this today. People call me sometimes and say, hey, Joe, pray that, uh, pray that this warfare stops. I'm like, why? The longer you're in it, the more God's going to bless you with. Understand that. <laughs> People don't get that. You ever find a, a true apostle and prophet? They go through a lot of warfare and God blesses them. He takes care of their family. Stand in there in this season. God's, God's gonna do everything he said he was gonna do. These words that I shared today. Let's go back to Cindy Jacobs. Well, well, let's start with Doug Addison. Abundant blessing. Cindy Jacobs says, your season to recover all. 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 Oh, you think if you've lost stuff for 10 years, you're getting it all back in one year. Charlie said, said remember what he said? The Lord's coming with scales, weights, balances, and justice and a sword of truth in his hand. Whew, Tracy Cook, it's a year of acceleration. I'm excited. Love you guys. And I hope this helps you. Hey, I promise you there's somebody that you know that needs to hear this today. This is a word of encouragement in the midst of trials. Stand in there. God's got your back.